Good morning everyone and welcome back to the fort. I'm not too sure what we're going to be doing today but it's always good to start with the breakfast out in nature. So let's have some breakfast and then we'll see what we're going to do later on. Of course I'm using my favorite platter here. Oh look I have friends all around me. I'll insert some footage of when I first came out of the site this morning of all the wildlife that was around me when I was setting up the, uh, the griddle. We are in site 1938 this time and we really enjoy the privacy. As you can see there is no one on the side of us. 1938 is a full hookup and of course there is no one behind you. This is the last site of the 1900 loop. The only thing you have on the other side of these trees is a basketball court that rarely gets used but that is there, so once in a while kids will go over there and play basketball. Not too often though. It's pretty secluded and pretty private. And you have these trees here, so you always have birds and squirrels coming to visit. arms, feet, and legs inside the train. Sit all the way back against the bench, and please be sure to watch your children. Asante. Bienvenidos a bordo del Wildlife Express. Para que tengan un viaje seguro, manténganse sentados con las manos, brazos, pies y piernas dentro del tren. Siéntense hasta atrás, pegados al respaldo de la banca. Y por favor, vigilen a los niños. Gracias. From the affection section, where you can get up close and personal with domesticated animals like sheep and our veterinary creatures and scientists. Also, be sure to check out the animation experience at Conservation Station. Ooh, animation experience. Maybe we could get in there. Let's go. Yeah, we're not. Let's go in and see if we can get in. Since the 1930s, 
Disney animators have put their pencils to paper in service of the idea that the greatest inspiration often comes from the magic of nature. Today, we invite you to become a part of that legacy as our own Disney artists help you learn to sketch characters inspired by the very animals found here at Disney's Animal Kingdom. Are we enjoying ourselves at Disney World today? Yeah! yeah. All right, welcome to the animation experience at Conservation Station. My name is Erin. Hi, Erin! Hi, Erin! <laughs> Hello! I'm going to be teaching you how to draw a Disney character today. Does anyone know who we're drawing? Timon. Timon, that's right, we're drawing Timon. We're drawing Timon, and I'm very excited because ever since I was little, Timon's always been my favorite character in The Lion King. Does everybody have a piece of paper? Yes. Yeah. Something like a UFO flying saucer on it? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. All right, good. Does everyone have a clipboard? Yep. Yes. Pencils? Yep. Yes. Very good. Now, are we drawing on the paper or on that clipboard? Paper. Paper, paper that's right. <laughs> we draw on those clipboards. I won't be angry. I'll just be disappointed. <laughs> Don't do that. Now, if you do happen to break your pencil or your paper spontaneously combusts or something, just raise your hand. We've got friends around the room who will be able to get to our replacement, as has already been mentioned. Now, we do need something else as well. For the original Lion King movie, they would have their animators go to Africa, or sometimes they'd bring in live animals in order to study. But unfortunately, we're not allowed to bring in a live here in day. So what we're going to do instead is we're going to do the next best thing. What we're going to do is we're going to do what they did for the new Lion King movie where they brought their film crews, film crews here to Disney's Animal Kingdom to film the animals that we have, to study their movements, to make their models based off the animals we have. So let us meet our inspiration. After a month of growing, Bentley was big enough to emerge from the tunnels to meet the room. You can be on the lookout for Bentley by visiting the Gorilla Falls Exploration Trail. He'll be looking for you. We'll draw your cat stand between about one to two feet tall, and that's what we're going to be drawing here today. So a few other things. As you may have noticed, none of you, not even I, have an eraser. We're in the animation experience today, not the cleanup artist experience. What we're going to do is we're going to draw very lightly, very messy. When we can see the lines we like, then we can go in and darken them up. And when you get home, you can have your cleanup artist erase all those lines you don't like. That way we can all leave here today with a finished drawing. Does that sound like a plan? Yeah! Yeah! But we've also drawn in those straight lines and perfect circles for you using technology. Raise your hand if you can draw a perfect circle the first time without a compass. Me neither. So this is going to save about an hour from our class. So what we're going to do is begin yeah. drawing very, like I said, very lightly, very messy. We're going to start by figuring out where his nose is going to go. And his nose is going to rest right here on the center line. What we're going to do is to find the top of our oval in this line here. Kind of find the middle between the two. Go a little bit under that, then we'll find this nice long horizontal line, and then a little one, two thirds of the way down there. That gives us the height of his nose. On either side of this little line between the two, we're going to add these kind of crooked curves, about maybe about a third of that side there. This is going to give us the general shape of his nose. We're going to kind of pretend we're drawing an oval but while connecting the dots. This will give you a very triangular-ish oval. This is no shape. And then you can kind of see it in there and see what you like there. Which does lead me to another very important rule in this class. The most important rule. Hakuna Matata. No worries. We're all here to have fun. We're not in school. We're not getting graded. We've all passed simply by showing up. Next thing we're going to add is a nice little hot dog or a banana shape. Right along. This is going to be a shimmer of light that reflects on the top of his nose. Once we have his nose in it, we can start to place in his eyeballs. And I do sit a bit behind the nose, so if you want to very lightly draw through that nose, feel free. So we kind of have to go around that snout. So what we're going to do, kind of that U shape right below the nose. 
right on that little line that we've ignored thus far. So it's curving this way. Then down, making those dimples a little bit above our little where that line cuts through the dimples. We want to give them a bottom lip as well. This is going to be a nice, even bigger swoosh. And we're going to use this nice circle here to give a color separation that runs down from his chin down to his belly. Then on the side, around that circle, we'll drop down. Next thing you probably need are some ears, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to draw. They're actually kind of oval shapes. You can draw in the whole oval if you like, but just under his cheek, our nice crescent right here. Now, we probably want to add this pretty iconic hair, right? It makes it look a little sassy. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with a nice widow's peak. Turning at the top of his eyebrows. Curvy V. Have some fun. At this point, hopefully we're starting to have something that resembles a mere cat. You can also shade in his ears. We'll shade in his crescent moon part. His ears are a nice last color. Even though mere cats are directly cats. They're related to the mongoose. Yes, no, maybe so. Yeah. Alright, you want to feel like sharing and you want to want to hold them up? Short while ago, about 20 minutes ago, there was nothing there but a blue flying saucer. You helped create something. You may absolutely love it. And if you do, congratulations, you're an artist. You may absolutely hate it. And if you do, congratulations, you are an artist. Congratulations, you are all officially Disney artists. Alright everyone, it's been a pleasure to drive with all of you here today. Come back and visit us again sometime soon. We're drawing six different characters from the Lion King right now. We're drawing it that much. What you're going to do is you're going to take those pencils and drop them off in that bucket that Amy is holding.